Michael totally schooled me when I, when I uh, started with the band. The, the thing that he said that just kind of made sense was always like uh, explaining the difference between rock music and rock and roll. And he's like, rock is for squares. You don't want to play that. You don't want to play one of the modern stuff. It's boring and square. Rock and roll is like a wild beast that can't be tamed. <laughs> And so, he, but and he tried like, to tame you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he tried to untame me. Um, no, that's true. But like, because I'd been playing like so much music that was like really rigid and like relied heavily on everything being like super precise and on a click, which is great for developing discipline and all that stuff. But he really helped me get away from that and not be so uptight, I guess, about it being a little more free and letting mistakes happen because like really great stuff happens during those moments when you're not using your brain <laughs> so how were the guys different from what you thought they would be like when you joined the band i didn't really know what to think about pete <laughs> to be totally honest I don't think anyone could have prepared you for it. Yeah, that. I didn't know what, like, so I just, I guess I didn't really think about that too much. I adored Rob from before we were in the band together, so I didn't know Pete at all. We'd never really had a conversation, so I thought well, I was probably a little bit intimidated by him. I've had a conversation with him now. Cool. You guys finally talk. <laughs> yeah, we finally talked. <laughs> like, it happened like last week. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are coming along. <laughs> <laughs>